Watch you guys got another video on how to see who's on your Wi-Fi network using Thing. Now, Thing is an application you can use to find devices that are connecting to your Wi-Fi or even to your local network. You'll be able to see devices on there, all of the devices that are connected. And what you can do is you can block them and you can also uh, get their IP address, MAC address and all that information, especially if they are sucking up all your precious bandwidth. You can use this program to be able to find them. So let's head over to thing.com and we're going to download it for free right here. Now, some of these features on here are premium and they will need to be paid for, but we're looking at the free option right here. So we're going to get the Windows edition, but they also do Mac OS versions here as well. Click on the download button and now you can see it's starting to download. Now we're going to go ahead and install this onto our PC. And what we'll do is we will open up the application once we've installed it. So I'm going to quickly agree to their terms and conditions and this will install the application. It shouldn't take too long because it is quite a small application, but it's a very powerful tool to use to find out who is on your Wi-Fi network. So here is the application thing. You might need to create an account. So if you haven't created an account already, you can head over to their website and create an account. It will then start to populate the application and scan your network. So you can see here, who's on my Wi-Fi? So we need to sign in. So I'm going to quickly do that right here. And this will take us to the control panel on the website. And also you can use the program on your PC as well. So let's load in. So there we go. So we're on the application. It will give you your username down on the bottom left hand side. It will tell you who your internet provider is. And it will also tell me how many devices you have at this time connected. And it will also tell you your network card it's going to scan that network card right there and then it will give you your location so i'll blur that out so we've got some tabs down the left hand side and i'll go through some of these in a second but i just want to quickly go through the troubleshooting uh, tool that is built into thing and you can see it's saying i have one warning here and i can run checks here so there is a run checks box right here which i can click and it will run a diagnosis on that system and try to fix or give me more information about what's happening and you can share this with support and you can get some more information by searching on Google to get some more information about what that error code means. So what we're going to do here is I'll quickly do a quick troubleshoot here by quickly running the checks button to see if the problem goes away. So we're going to run the checks and it will run a quick check on the system. It's gone all green on the right hand side right here, but it's gone back to being yellow or amber. So we need to address that issue. I'll do that in another video. So let's go to the devices area here. This will give you the devices that are connected currently on your network and it will clearly state them. You can see here by name, it's telling us that we have an Archer router here. We have a doorbell. We also have a Wi-Fi extender. Uh, we also have a NAS and a computer at this present time. We have an Echo on there and another doorbell uh, on there as well. So we have these devices on here. There is buttons up the top right hand side, which you can use uh, to basically uh, get more technical information. That will be the uh, MAC address and IP addresses for each of those uh, devices. So you'll be able to find out exactly what the MAC address is. And if it's unknown, you can do more investigation. But to have a detailed report like this of devices that are connected currently on your network, it's quite useful. You can see when you click on the technician button right here, the spanner or the wrench, this will give you the MAC address and the IPs for where it's located. So you know everything that is connected to your network at that present time, which is quite useful to know. So what we're going to do next is go down to the network tab right here. So click on the network tab and you can run a land speed test as well for on the tool section. So we're going to quickly do that right here. And this will give us the download speed and upload speed of our package that we're paying for. And you can see it's Virgin Media that this is. And also it tell you the ping, it will tell you the jitter, and it will tell you the loss if you have any. If you've got loss on there, then obviously you can investigate further. There may be a problem. So you can see we're getting zero loss. We're also getting 5.1 milliseconds jitter and 17 milliseconds ping, which is pretty good. Uh, there is some other things in the tool section. I'm not going to go through any of these right now, but that's what you can do there. So that is basically how you can find devices that are connected to your local network or your Wi-Fi network using Thing 
It's quite a useful app. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.